Hi, this is Bruce the Last Nail, and I'm up here at Caribou, Colorado. Now, Caribou, Colorado was an old, abandoned, dilapidated ghost town, but it's very historical. Uh, over a hundred years ago, there was actually a town up here. So, what I'm going to do here, this is really very impromptu. I really have nothing prepared. But I'm just going to walk around. These are uh, some of the old ruins behind me. Some of the old stone ruins. So this is where I'm starting. There's um, a wooden shack up beyond the parking lot. And there's also some beautiful flowers. It's a very beautiful area. I'm not really sure what elevation we're at here. Probably at least 10,000 feet in elevation. We're just uh, west uh, a few miles of Nederland, Colorado. So I'm glad you joined me. Come along for the ride with me. So here's the old inside part of the ruins. Now, being that I'm at 10,000 feet, and at some point in time today, there's rain projected, that could also mean thunderstorms. So, I don't want to stay here all day and all afternoon. I'm also up here with Keely and her sister, Melissa. So, you could probably see Melissa with her bright orange hat, but she's pretty far back there, over by the other set, set of ruins up here. Here's another angle. I want to be careful walking around up here. I happen to be wearing shorts. And you want to be careful in the high grass because there's ticks. Uh, that's one thing, but there's also biting flies. So we're on the road up here, and there's also a surveying crew, and here's another set, another building. Then I think if you go up this hill, Behind this building, there's actual ruins of a mine, an old, probably an old gold or silver mine. And here's a frontal shot. This is like the first building that you see, and it kind of blows you away when you first come up here, which I did a few years ago. Quite a few wildflowers out here, too. Here's the inside of the building. Of course, people have come up here and spray painted. This is open to the public up here, no admission. It's up on Caribou Road, just west of Nederland, Colorado. Now I'm as deep inside of the room as I can get. So how do you like it up here, ladies? <laughs> Good. It's very this nice. This is Keely, awesome. Keely and Melissa. <laughs> this is Melissa's first time up here. Look at all the wildflowers. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. Yep. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Building up here is kind of cool looking too. Yes. I wish we could see some columbines. It's Colorado State flower. So here's the main, I guess this is the main opening 
of the mine, and there's quite a few signs here to keep out. And that, of course, is for your own safety. It says a Potatsi mine danger. But you do want to you do want to keep out. You don't want to get in there. Of course, there's people that will. More ruins. This pile in here are mine tailings. And I guess if you come in here with a shovel or something and you start digging around, you might find some really colorful rocks. I don't think you're going to really find anything much of value or gem quality. I doubt you'll find gold or silver or anything like that. Now this part of Caribou, this is where the township used to be. In fact, they have signs no trespassing and keep out. You never know what's going to be in these ruins. If there's old basements that have uh, real poor covered up areas where you could fall in and really hurt yourself. So it's wonderful to come and look at and there are designated trails. But it really is beautiful up here. There's a little area up there of some beautiful trees. You know, when you come up here too, some of this land is private. So the warning sign here says, check your U.S. Forest Service map. This is private land and you are trespassing. So this little trail here, I was actually going to go down there, but I will pass on that. As I don't want to go trespassing on any land. get a ticket or have some landowner. But there's certainly nothing wrong with taking pictures of it. No one can fault you for that. Now, there's a group of about four trees up there, and then there's a trail with a few more trees. So I'm going to head up there. There's an old wooden shack, the ruins of an old wooden shack. So that's where we're going to go next. So here's a field of just some beautiful mountain flowers. People up here are really nice. A lot of color. Now there's a fence, a gate. This is the first time I've ever seen this gate locked. I, I, there's not any no trespassing signs, so I think what it is is to keep vehicles out. So I'm going to go ahead and go beyond the gate. There's already, already people. I've gone hiking up here uh, in time, probably last summer, Keely and I came up, but I didn't do any 
videos, but right down there, almost in the center, we're going to go down there and check out the wooden ruins. I'm sure that's an old shack. Well, let's go see what we find down there. And here's the the, the ruins from that road, that, that trail I was just on. And again, I want to be careful walking around here, just really in, in the event of ticks. So here's an angle coming in from the north. I think the biting flies are actually mosquitoes because it's quite wet around here just from the thunderstorms that we get. But it's pretty cool. From the northeast part of the ruins. It's a rock outcropping up there. I've been to the top of that. I've been to the top of this hill up here. Now, from my perspective, I'm in the mountains. These aren't what I call hills. This is part of the Rocky Mountains, part of the Front Range. Caribou, Colorado, just, just beautiful up here. Sometimes I remind myself of why I moved up here to Colorado in the first place 13 years ago. And this is certainly one of the reasons why I moved here. When the singer-songwriter Dan Fogelberg wrote his song, Netherlands. In fact, he put out an old, old album by the name of Netherlands. It's spelled nether, as in N-E-T-H-E-R, lands. And it's really about this area around Netherland, Colorado. So we're south of the old famous Caribou Studios which has since closed down. But this is the exact area that he was uh, writing about in his song, Netherlands. You can check that out, but it's about the area around Netherland, Colorado. So there's a perspective of the ruins that we were at in the beginning of the video. My truck is parked over where that yellow, near where that yellow sign is. But I'm going to go ahead and head back there. I don't know if you can see that in there. But that's an awfully interesting looking plant. I wonder where I've seen that before. Well, hi, this is Bruce the Last Nail from Caribou, Colorado. And I think that's going to be it for the day. And I'm going to go ahead and call it a day, too. So uh, I'm, I'm glad you came along for the ride with me and let me know if you liked the video and please uh, hit that subscription button. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.